Hey everyone, this is Rasko, and welcome to part eight, nine of the LPS Metroid Utter M. Wow, I'm, I must be tired if I'm starting to repeat the last parts. <laughs> Anyways, in the last part, we made it all the way here to the research center, and now we're going to start exploring it. This is the point of the game where a lot of people probably just went, oh god, speed it up. Um, this is third person view is annoying as all hell, especially since you're always walking slow. And you're always like this. There's nothing you can do but look around. So to make this simple, just, you know, follow wherever you need to truly go. Make this end as quickly as you can. There's nothing at the other end of that cor of this corridor, no. You gotta go all the way to the end of the corridor. Yeah, this is annoying. Resetting yourself is a bit hard. Because you kind of have to, like, play with a control with a d-pad and that's not easy to do in a 3d environment Ugh, god damn a lot of destroyed equipment Ugh, and then you have okay um well that's not good oh this isn't good whoa there's nothing much that can actually hurt you, so you don't need to worry. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. What the hell? Um. Alright, so. All the other four door. There's only one door that's the correct door. No, not this one. The two side doors, I believe, lead to an to a elongated area, and here we go. Whoa! What the hell? Is that a space fire? Is it is that Bastinium? I guess. What the Adam, fuck? Are you seeing this? It's a Zabizian. Zabizian, okay. It's been cybernetically enhanced. What Whoa. is this thing? I don't know. Well, those are the space pirates, technically, but they have their zip, 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 So, yeah, this is awkward. Well, where the hell did this thing come from? You know, with Zeb is dead, you would all think right. all of them would be dead, pretty much. So I managed to recover one piece of data. <laughs> oh, you got t told us to come back running to you like an idiot, but um, <laughs> you only managed to recover one piece of data. Life forms from each planet have been raised and researched as possible bioweapons. What? Site manager oh. and development director, Dr. Madeline, Madeline Bergman. Adam, was the Galactic Federation okay. Looks like it. Use of bioweapons is strictly prohibited. Course, yeah. What's happened here is illegal. So yeah, in the Galactic Federation, which pretty much like uh, our laws right now, um, bio use of biochemical weapons, um, bombs that would cause massive diseases or anything like that, um, is actually quite illegal. If you release one, you're fucked. You are completely fucked. And I guess the Galactic Federation kept that law no even into the future in because the technically a be yeah Samus is pretty much saying it here um, life should be just left as it is not genetically altered the Chozo did not alter and life they created life the like the Metroid the Parasite the X they created these life through bioengineering there is a difference I wondered what Adam thought of me uh yeah, you got to remember that um, Samus, like I said, in the, I believe in the very first part. The, excuse me. The reason she can do a lot of the things she can do, like do use the power suit, the morph ball, and everything, is because she has um, cro cho Crozo, Chozo DNA in her. That'll be where you come in. Leave to me. Shouldn't be a problem to hack into this thing. Oi, come on. Like we kind of already time. know. Madeline might they were using. Uh, Keep scouting for more intel. Let's go. 
Oh goddamn freaking recording device. Uh why is he leaving? Why is he leaving? He's needed to ha oh fuck it. Anyways, um again this is gonna happen again and Ugh. There's not much to talk or say about. I like I did say in the first part, for a Wii game, this is awesome. This game looks very detailed. See, this is what I mean when a D-pad is used as a 3D uh, controller. It sucks. Even in Mario 3D Land. It's not the best thing. Okay. So, yeah, we just saw... A pretty much learned why this place exists so now we gotta find anyone who will be willing to answer questions who are not afraid of us kinda hard to do when you're Samus Aran who, who is well known for blowing shit up upon landing <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> it's true almost every planet she's visited has blown up except for Talon 4 and Planet Aether uh, it, those are going to go up soon I know we know uh oh. This looks dangerous. I don't know what I was doing there. <clears throat> um. The fuck? Ew, saliva. What the hell? Oh, come on! Oh, crap. The bioengineer space pirates. Ah, oh, shitters. Get back. I want all the soldiers to evacuate this area. Samus, your orders are to take care of all enemy targets. Uh, okay. Don't worry, Anthony. I'm fine. Now, th oh shit! I was not expecting that right away. Um, the, the space pirates come in different variety. Um, all of them can shoot a beam. To a certain degree. Ow, that hurt. They know Kung Fu, as you guys can see. Um, what's annoying with the Space Pirates is that when you're trying to KO them, they can take a good amount of hits. Until you get more powerful beam weapons, of course, like any other game, more powerful weapons, you're gonna be pretty much stuck doing the same thing. Try just evade them. As you can see, some of the Space Pirates have an ability to fire a missile. I believe it depends on their color. Ow. Come on, get him in time? Yes! Woo! Two for almost the price of one. Yeah, the Space Pirates come in different varieties. Um, It's pretty easy, especially in the 3D plane, because of the dodge sense, which is the best part of this gameplay. Oh, oh, there's one on the ground past me. There's one on the ground. There's one on the ground. Damn it, I'm not seeing it, am I? Nope. Ow. I ran right into that missile pretty much. Oh, I thought he was on the ground. No, he was just shooting and he was hitting the wall. Damn it. There we go. He's dead now. Yeah, when you're doing a finisher, you don't need to worry about other enemy units. Um, the reason is that they're going to be stu you're gonna be like in a bit of an invulnerability phase. Ow! Oh shit! This is not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. No, oh, that hurt. What I just did there is the concentration energy. Um, it refills a whole tank of energy. The more energy tanks you have, and I believe another thing, uh, the faster you'll regenerate your health, and the more you'll regenerate your health. <laughs> now, what just happened there was my was luck kicking in, because that missile should have fucking killed me at 158 points of, of health. Um, I was surprised that I could still manage to live, <laughs> more or less. So yeah, this right here there is going to be a godsend. Uh, this is why I don't mind the restoration zones. The these the nav points, um, it's a little annoying because it always saves your data. But, um, you know, I wouldn't mind a recharge room. 
Oh god damn it. Um Where the hell did they go? And what was that? Uh oh. What the hell? Okay. Wow, this creature's a little weird. Um, okay. Good thing we don't have the speed boost. Why are you using a freeze gun? Whoa, okay. Oh, this isn't good. Ow. Oh, shit. God damn it. Oh, crap. Ugh. No, I'm not doing anything. This is the game. This is auto cutscenes. So what you got to do here is shoot missiles at this thing's tail. Um, this, this is actually quite annoying because this thing's got to be really spot on. And on harder on the hardest difficulty, this thing is annoying. Because as you can see, that thing in two shots nearly took my ow. Nearly two shots took my entire health. Because on the harder difficulty, you don't get any uh, energy tanks. Oh god damn it! I'm trying to shoot this thing. There you go. Uh, this thing's almost dead. Yeah. Oh, God. And there we go. I think this is the end of it. Oh, no. Uh, as long as you try to keep a good lock on it, this will happen automatically. You can easily blow its tail. Uh, hit a missile on its tail. It's a little annoying, but still. Okay, Anthony just saved us with a plasma blast. Uh, okay. Whoa. Hey, look, the Ga Ga Galactic Federations aren't okay, just mooks. Princess? They can actually do their job very well. Huh. Cover, They're not starch purse. This thing takes forever to charge. <laughs> I'll save the next shot for you. Not that you'll need it. Hey! Come over here! <laughs> Aww. Oh god no, there's a galactic troop. Lyle's down. He looks like a pilot. Lyle's right? down! Lyle's dead! What happened to a guy to make him look like that? Um, Lyle's not down. Lyle's dead. Okay, this is a little annoying. I got stuck here for like a few minutes. You got to aim at the blood specifically because it's, you're not told to what to aim at. And sometimes with time, they'll say, look here, dumbass. But still, what the hell is this thing? And the little Furby thing. Oh, it was killed? You did uh, An empty it looked like it just trans. Looks like that monster. From earlier oh God! Sector three. Samus, follow it. Can that monster that we saw right there be come from that little Furby thing? God damn, that's one hell of an evolution line. If it was, I mean seriously, think about it. It came this little kind of cute white thing with a hell of a sharp, huge mouth and sharp teeth, but uh, then morphed into that giant lizard thing. That's kind of freaky. Woo! Long way down, no elevator. Oh well. Whee! Boom! No damage done. <laughs> Reality. Ow! My ankles, my legs, my arms, my body! I don't feel it anymore! <laughs> yeah. You, even with Chozo DNA, I think Samus would have still, like, broken a few bones. I don't care what people say. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, this thing's nowhere to be found. Lovely. It was clear that the Galactic Federation was developing uh. bioweapons on the bottle ship. Yes, we know this now, 100%. I wonder if Adam came here it's just weird that we saw a lot of Planet Zebus enemies. Galactic. I love this detail. If you look in that screen right there, you'll see Samus walking as well towards the door. Madeline that was some very well detailed details right there for that camera. You know, it's to say, okay, we know Sam, uh, Adam could still see us on the cameras, and some of these monitors aren't destroyed. So it's really cool. Okay, that ticking is... You guys destroyed the building. Really? We could have used that as evidence against the Galactic Federation, you dumbasses. Anyways, this part's going to an end, so join me next time as we begin exploring Sector 3. Yes, we jump from Sector 1 to Sector 3. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, have a good day or night, and screw you, Adam. We need every weapon we can.